Aquarius, how are you doing? Welcome to your April astrology. Yeah, lots going on. Thank God Mercury is direct from the second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that affecting you? Was it intense? Did you feel yourself drawn into all sorts of drama? Possibly you felt insecure, like somebody was threatening your security or your sense of self with that Mercury retrograde. Well, fingers crossed, it starts to clear. It actually goes direct on the second, but it takes a really week or two to, to fully kind of that horrible blurry energy to leave us. Now you've got it in your second house, which is all about your sense of security. And on the second, when it goes direct, you're like, yes, feeling much better. Then we go to the new moon. New moon is all about dumping our baggage and moving forward. And it raises our vibration to the next level. And your vibrational shift and your opportunity is to dump any bad communication skills any negative thinking, anything you do in relation to communication that you feel you don't want to take forward into the next phase. Also, if you want to stop talking to someone, you feel it's over for you uh, communication-wise, be that friend, lover, workmate, it's like, boom, that's it. I'm casting that out with a new moon. I'm going forward with new ideas. I'm invigorated. And your mind has got the opportunity to come up with sparks of genius and wisdom that can take you forward. Use that fab hiccuping now. Use that fabulous mind to use your ideas to help you move forward. Positive thinking, not just boring old positive thinking, but positive thinking followed by practical adaptation. So, you know, think a positive thought, act on that thought, make it happen. Challenge any self-hate, challenge if you berate yourself in your mind, challenge that. Your inner voice is so important. When you challenge that, you can just move forward at such a startling rate. Uh, we then have Venus and Neptune joining forces. You have an opportunity to really plunge in to your spirituality in a way, and also to connect and communicate on a soul level with someone. You might find yourself falling in love. You might find yourself having this conversation and it just feels mystical or having deep meaning. And you're like, wow, what is all this about? It's so full on. It's so like um, just deep. But it's very, very good for you because it just plugs right in to your heart chakra. We then have Jupiter retrograde. And you're like, Whoa, you know, this is a big deal for you. You're like, wow, you know, I'm going backwards. And, and what do I actually want? And where have I come from? And have I left something important behind? And can I bring it into my life now? You really want the right people around you, the right groups of people around you, people that share your belief system rather than people that are constantly being negative or horrible to other people. You can't have that vibe around you now. You know, if you're mixed with people and they're gossiping or being nasty, you're like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it in my life. It's holding me back. Um, the sun is squaring Pluto on the 13th and that's kind of making you think about what are my beliefs and what is what is real and you might find yourself communicating with someone and you understand them on a deeper level and you understand yourself on a deeper level but there's still this little bit of you know you can't sort of clear the, the clash between you are you being true to yourself it's very important that you speak from your soul this month and if you are authentic and say what you really mean again massive curtains of opportunity opening for you um now another important event is on the 14th we have a grand fire trine and it's giving you the opportunity to push ahead with groups of people to bring harmony into your belief system you might do something really important when it comes to social media the web uh charity work, anything where you're involved with others has a real blast of energy. Use that energy. You know, when we have a grand fire trine, it, it's important because it, it energizes us to get things done, you know, and that to me, that's the whole point of astrology. What's the point of it? It's you sense what energy is coming and you work with that energy to make things happen. Uh, Jupiter, is making you feel that you want to connect to people, but of course they have to be the right people. If you've been connecting with the wrong people, it's holding you back. So that's something you're thinking about really all month. Mercury shifting signs are going, and as is Venus, going into a place for you which is all about ideas, and your ideas are starting to take flight. You're not just sitting there thinking, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. It's happening, they're out there, you can do something with them. Now the full blue moon in Libra, this is the second 
full moon and for you it's in, in your sense of adventure did you pay attention to the last full moon how did you feel did you feel like did you change something did you shake things up did you express your unique soul more this moon is going if you didn't i'm giving you a shove in the right direction and if you did i'm going to give you a big clap and some positive energy your way. The sun shifts signs on the 20th and it's making you want to go all snuggly and deal with your home and family. You might want to redecorate. You might want to start a family. You might want to have that one-to-one -one time with family and you just want to get cosy. But you're very confident that you can heal things in the area of home and family. Um, Pluto, uh, Pluto does go retrograde on the 25th and there's a sense for you, um, again, of, of there's a lot a lot of soul messages and strange coincidences happening this month. And you're like, you know, wow, there seems to be this kind of really deep shit happening. How am I going to deal with it? Well, pay attention. Know you're a bit of a wizard. Know you're a sorceress. Know you're a magician. And use your energy to create and transform your life and, and follow your soul's compass. Uh, what else is happening? Um, yeah, Saturn is also going retrograde. So there's a lot of, we're getting that bloody retrograde action back towards the end of April where it's feeling like, you know, we can't just run ahead. We've got to fix some things in the past. But for you, it seems to be not like literal practical things. It seems to be things connected to your emotions. Have you ever been addicted to someone? Is there anything you're addicted to? Is there anything you need to heal so that you can let go of those addictions to move on and be free? Take care, gorgeous. Come visit me on Instagram. Lots of love.